Gamergate refers to the controversy around a harassment campaign orchestrated primarily through the use of the Twitter hashtag number Gamergate, concerning issues of sexism and progressivism in video game culture. Gamergate has come to be used as a blanket term for the controversy, the harassment campaign, as well as actions by those perpetrating the harassment. After a former boyfriend of Quinn wrote a lengthy disparaging blog post about her, others falsely accused her of entering a relationship with a journalist in exchange for positive coverage and threatened her with assault and murder. Those endorsing the blog post and spreading such accusations against Quinn organized themselves under the Twitter hashtag number Gamergate, as well as on Internet Relay Chat, IRC, channels and websites such as Reddit, 4CHAN, and 8CHAN. Harassment campaigns against Quinn and others were coordinated through these forums and included doxing, threats of rape, and death threats. Many of those organizing under the Gamergate hashtag argue that they are campaigning against political correctness and poor journalistic ethics in the video game industry. Most commentators dismissed Gamergate's purported concerns with ethics and condemned its misogynistic behavior. Most Gamergate supporters are anonymous, and Gamergate has no official leaders, spokespeople, or manifesto. Statements claiming to represent Gamergate have been inconsistent and contradictory, making it difficult for commentators to identify goals and motives. As a result, Gamergate has been defined by the harassment its supporters have committed. Some Gamergate supporters have attempted to dissociate themselves from misogyny and harassment, but their attempts have often been dismissed as insincere and selfing. The controversy has been described as a manifestation of a culture war over cultural diversification, artistic recognition, and social criticism in video games, and over the social identity of gamers. Many supporters of Gamergate oppose what they view as the increasing influence of feminism on video game culture. As a result, Gamergate is often viewed as a right-wing backlash against progressivism. Gamergate supporters claim to perceive collusion between the press and feminists, progressives, and social critics. These concerns have been dismissed by commentators as trivial, based on conspiracy theories, unfounded in fact, or unrelated to actual issues of ethics. Such concerns led users of the hashtag to launch email campaigns targeting firms advertising in publications of which they disapproved, asking them to withdraw their advertisements. Responses to Gamergate from the games industry have been predominantly negative. The Electronic Frontier Foundation, the Entertainment Software Association, Electronic Arts, and Sony Computer Entertainment have strongly condemned Gamergate harassment. Intel, which temporarily withdrew their advertisements from gaming news site Gamasutra as the result of a Gamergate email campaign, later pledged $300 million to support a diversity in technology program. Gamergate has led figures both inside and outside the industry to focus more on better methods of tackling online harassment. Representative Catherine Clark from Massachusetts has campaigned for a stronger government response to online harassment, gaining the support of Congress. Within the industry, organizations such as the Crash Override Network and the Online Abuse Prevention Initiative have been founded to provide support to those facing online harassment.